In today's video, we're opening up the new Walmart mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another epic Walmart mystery box opening and you may have noticed that there's no vlog portion at the beginning of this video. That's because I couldn't find any of these. Fortunately, Drew, a viewer of the channel, did find a few and he hooked me up with six of these boxes. So we're gonna have plenty to open today. Pretty excited for that. So shout out to Drew. Let him know in the comments that you appreciate it. We do have a giveaway for this video. I'm giving away all the polls that we pull in this video. So make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, thank Drew in the comments and let me know what you think about these mystery boxes. All right, let's just check these things out. So these are supposedly available at Walmart. Not for me, but I guess for some other people. So we have two packs inside, it appears. Look for legacy packs, one in two, two booster packs, and one collectible 10. They have a duelist alliance on there and then invasion of chaos. If those are the two packs, that's kind of fire. So I hope that's the case. And then these pins are pretty awesome with the dark magician and the blue eyes. So I'm and then we got flames destruction, dark crisis. That would not be as good. So hopefully it's these two at, and you know inside i don't know duels alliance is kind of vintage at this point so that feels like a double you know double win right there so let's see what we get in our first box these are very similar to i think i have a couple of them these are very similar like hanger box version to these from i guess these were last year at this point where you could get like the uh, lob versus the uh you know fusion destiny and stuff like that and then they, they would have like the special edition sometimes inside of them which i think this one does if you can tell it's kind of you know chunkier so yeah, this, is, this kind of reminds me of those, but we'll have to see if these are better or not. All right, the best way, I think I used to open them like this. I think this is the way you're supposed to open them. Uh, let's see if we can get our pin out first. If I can find it. Okay, I think I found it. This is, it was bigger than expected. We got a blue eyes white dragon right off the bat. Not gonna lie, this is kind of fire. Yeah, this is super sick. I'm definitely throwing this on my backpack. You better watch out, guys. When I'm walking around with this, people are gonna be intimidated. That's all I'm saying. Okay, let's see what packs we got. That's a pretty sick pull to start off. It's a Dark Saviors. Okay, not too crazy there. Five card pack, but you know, there's some cool secret rares in here. Let's see what we can get. We have, okay, I was worried it was at the beginning. It's not at the beginning. We've got the Hercules base, Vampire Retainer, the Dark Reffer. That's a pretty solid card. Okay, not bad. Armageddon Knight, also really good for those, you know, dad decks and like Edison and stuff. And then a Vampire's Desire secret rare. Okay, nothing too insane there. Also, I didn't say at the beginning, I think these are $15 each, I believe. I paid a little bit more than that because, you know, of course, I had to, you know, pay for the guy to not make nothing and all that stuff. So, and then shipping and everything. So I paid a little bit more than that. But if you do pick them up, I think they're like 15 bucks. Soul Fusion first edition. We didn't get a legacy pack. Dang it. It's one and two though. So hopefully we get three out of five. So a little bit above, you know, when we do it. Okay, I think it's, let's just do three. I don't know what it is. Let's do that. We have Crusadia Spatha, Deplexer Chimera. We got the Salaman Great Mirror, World Wand, uh, Incantation Bookstone, the Cotton Eater, Dino Wrestler Capitera. We've got the Herald of the Abyss. So it looks like it was four from the back if you count the rare. Just a super rare. Kind of sh nice shine there, though. Not bad. But I will say that wasn't a great special edition. However, we did get a really cool pin. I wonder if it's just this in the Dark Magician or are there other ones? Like, did we actually get lucky or is it like every other one you get one of those? All right, second box. Went in and took the plastic off because it's uh, just very annoying to deal with. Let's see what we can get. Are we going to get another Blue Eyes? We're going to get a Dark Magician. What's the deal with the pin? We have a pot of greed that is so cool so i guess it's not just dark magician blue eyes that is insane i'm i okay look i said i was putting on my backpack then i remember we're giving these away so i can't actually do that i'm gonna have to get some for myself at some point because these are fire okay I, i'm pretty hyped up about those those pins are pretty awesome i'm not gonna lie let's see what else we got we got maximum crisis we could get an ash blossom okay it's not first ed unfortunately but we could still get an ash blossom which i have pulled once or i've pulled multiple times but it was on one specific live stream when we opened like 300 packs but other than that i've never pulled it let's see if we can pull one right here out of a random pack apocalypse we got a swordsman ladybug we've got the loss of ambrace the pendulum show this reminds me of regular show and when that episode, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but when they are uh, in like the Chuck E. Cheese thing and then there's like the robots that are like, they like stole something 10 years ago. I don't know. If you haven't seen the show, it sounds ridiculous. The show is ridiculous, but it's funny. Okay, but honestly, the price for these is, I mean, if these are 15, it's kind of insane. Because <laughs> like these pins, I mean, there's two packs, which are like four bucks each or whatever. I mean, at retail, that's eight bucks. And then this which is probably a dollar each, something like maybe two. It's, it's probably $5 overpriced, but I, yeah, I get it, I get it. Okay, oh no, no not another non-legacy pack. Okay, Shadows of Mahalo, this is first edition. I can't even remember what you can get in here. I know there's Valkyries, but like, does anyone even play those? I really don't know. We have 
Urgent ritual art. Okay. Magical meltdown. Alistair. Oh, yeah, there is Alistair stuff in here. That's what's in here. I knew there was something good in here. We've got uh, armor, ninjutsu, art of the wrist, uh, rust mist, wrist must. We've got ninjutsu, art of super transformation. Gateway to chaos. That is a beautiful looking card. Yeah, this card is, I mean, it's not crazy. It was good in Duel Links for a little bit, but beautiful looking card at least. All right, box three. I kind of destroyed that one trying to open it. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's see what if we get a different pin this time. We have another pot of greed okay we got pot of greed numero dos not too crazy but i do like the pot of greed i think it's honestly pretty amazing looking what else can we get these both feel small that means that's probably bad oh no wait where are the legacy packs didn't they say one and two one and two are we getting scammed oh no one and two boxes we're not getting a legacy pack we got shadow vampire we got the fur hire card, Hornet Drones, Shizuku, and we've got the Sagita Maverick Fur Hire. I don't know, no one ever really used this one because it wasn't in Duel Links, so, you know, that's the only deck of Fur Hire I know, but I don't know if they use it in the real game. Next pack, please be Legacy. It's both Dark Saviors, we're getting scammed! I, I say that, okay, let me just clarify, I'm joking. Because <laughs> I always do that as a joke and then people think I'm being serious, so I'm not being serious. We're just getting unlucky right here. We got Vampire Red Baron, we've got the Horn of the fan of beast mirror force very nice got a quick booster and we have vampires domain this was pretty crazy in also dual links for a while oh wait we have six of these not five i was thinking we had five for some reason so far okay if we pull the next three legacy packs then we will even out at the odds of one and two so hopefully we do get the odds because so far we have zero legacy packs which speaking of legacy packs i bet the makers of this wait let's check if this was mj holding or not yeah, it was MJ Holding. You can see MJ Holding Company, LLC. MJ Holding is probably not happy. Actually, you know what? They probably are happy about the new reprints for Legacy Packs, so they can just buy a million of them, and then in like four or five years, they can make more mystery products. And then people are like, ooh, Legacy Packs, and they'll buy them. Because like right now, it'll make these less desirable because there's already like accessible Legacy Packs. But then in a few years, it'll be crazy. All right, fourth box. Give us some better luck. Give us a Legacy Pack. We have in the pin... Another blue eyes white dragon. We still don't have the dark magician yet, so we're still looking for that. I guess there's only three of them. I don't know. That's just my guess. Maybe we're just getting doubles. Who knows? Hmm. Maybe one of these. One. Of, one's a skinny pack. So that's dark saviors, of course. So if you like dark saviors, this is your set. We are. This is your mystery boxes. You're gonna get it every time. Curry bandit. Nice. Uh, Kagari from the Sky Strikers. We got Area Zero. I guess people like Sky Strikers, so they probably do like that set. Mystic Tomato and. Oh, ho, ho, ho. engage the original secret rare. It's unlimited. Just got a reprint, so it's probably only a few bucks. But actually, I think when we did the Twitch bot spends a thousand dollars on TCG player. Go check that out, by the way, because a lot of you guys didn't watch that. So it's a fun video. Do we buy 23 gay guardians? Buy them all. Buy 20. This is going to be a vote. I have a feeling what's going to happen on this one. We got some real voters. We got some memers. I feel like the chat is in meme mode right now. That's what I'm feeling right now. Meme mode. Go check it out. Give it a chance. I'm pretty sure that this was the original printing and the first edition was like $14. So maybe the unlimited is a few bucks. We'll have to see. It'll pop up on the screen, of course. So honestly, DAS is not that bad of a pack because a lot of people like Sky Striker or you hate it. It's one of the two. Okay, last pack out of here. B Legacy. I guess that counts as Legacy. So I guess they have started counting these as Legacy, which kind of sucks. I was hoping they didn't so you could get this and a Legacy pack. But this is still an awesome pack. I'm excited about this. Can we get the Ghost Rare? I think I still need it for my binder. Probably need the ulti as well. I have never pulled like anything good out of this set, like ever. Well, I did pull the cover card when we opened like 100 packs of it in Ultimate Rare. So that was pretty good. But other than that, I mean, we opened a lot of packs that time. But other than that, it's been terrible. Gaia, we got the Skeeter Skimmer. We got the Rituals. Alpha, we got Swordfish. Hippo Carnival, Chain Dispel, Panzer Dragon, this card's kind of crazy, and Fishboard Doctor, the street continues of no pulls. Two mystery boxes to go. Let me know in the comments how you feel about these. So far, I'm kind of iffy on these. I don't know yet. We'll give our final judgment at the end. It's garbage. Okay, fifth mystery box. What will our pin be? We still need the Dark Magician. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Another blue eyes. Okay, can't be mad. It's the three blue eyes of Kaiba. So very nice. He's going to make the blue eyes ultimate. Two packs. Did we get another legacy? Can't tell. What is this? Oh, we got two large packs, which is interesting. Because like I can tell the difference between the nine card and the five card because one's skinnier. They both felt like they're nine card packs. So we got a dualist alliance. Maybe we'll get two of those. That'd be pretty sick. I'm going to do three from the back again. Here we go. We have the Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman, Vega. Fishboard Doctor, we got the Super Heavy Samurai Blue, Blue Brawler, the Battle Guard, I can't speak, Battle Guard King, Chaos Seed, also my voice is going away, Swordfish, we got the Flash Knight, is it next, is a Ghost Rare, 
No, it's a Yang Zing Unleashed. Okay, nothing too crazy. Second pack is... Okay, Flames of Destruction. We haven't seen this one yet. Could get an Imperm. I don't think I've ever pulled one of the... Or an Imperm out of a random Flames of Destruction pack. So this would be cool to do. Because this was before I opened like tons of cards. Like, because there was no Starlights or anything. So there was no reason to. All right, we got the Traits Familiar. Protron. Element Saber. Aina. The Spirit. Dead Heat. Trinity. We got the Trickstar Bella Madonna. That's an ultra rare. Okay, that's not bad. Nightmare Mermaid. I don't even remember that card. And then Yajiro Invader. So we will take that ultra rare. Not bad at all. Final mystery box of these new mystery boxes. Then I will give my take on what I think about them. Here we go. We have <gasps> red eyes. They do have other ones. That red eyes looks insane. I love these. They're so good. These pay. Okay. These pins are winning me over. Okay, two more packs. See what I can feel. Feels like this is a smaller pack. Dark Saviors. Can we get another, I guess, Engage? What's the best card in here besides Engage? It probably is Engage, to be honest, isn't it? We have a Mystic Tumalto. Very cool. Spell Power Grasp. Foolish Burial Goods. It's not a bad card. Sky, Scri Sky Striker Aerospace Area Zero. Man, that's a lot of area and area. Okay, it's very difficult. And then Sky and Striker, we have vampire domination so much vampire stuff that just just never really took off and the final pack from our mystery boxes let's see oh another duelist alliance so weird we're getting duelist alliance instead of like regular reprints so it's actually kind of better because these are less accessible because coming up with the reprint of duelist alliance uh you're not gonna be able to get those so very interesting we have the monarch stormforth decent we got Satellar knight vega the exchange of night and day battle guard rage recover number 58 Oh, a Satellar Knight Deneb. Okay, ultra rare. That's pretty good. And then a Seer, Melda Branch of the Burning Abyss, and Fishborg Doctor. That's not bad at all. We'll take an ultra rare. All right, so overall, for the price of $15, you get two packs, and then you get one of these pins. Honestly, I really like these pins. I'm guessing they're not too expensive, but maybe if there are a bunch of different ones, they could go for a couple of bucks. Then you get yourself potentially a Duelist Alliance pack, which is really cool. The other pack, like Dark Saviors, is probably only worth like 2 or $3. So I'm guessing overall, the value of this box is about 10 bucks. You're spending about 15 for like 10. So it's not that crazy. You're, you're losing a little bit of money. That's kind of the case with mystery boxes most of the time. What I really don't like about this one is there's not a lot to open. There's only two packs. On the bigger ones where you get like five or six packs, I prefer that because it feels like you're getting more for your like 25 or maybe 30 that you spend. Here it's only, it's 15 bucks for kind of not a lot of packs. However, I am a fan of some of the packs that they have in there like Invasion of Chaos, Duelist Alliance, and the pins. So if I were to grade this, I would give this like a C plus to a B minus mystery box for what you can expect for Walmart mystery boxes. Not for like a custom one or anything, but for Walmart, I give this like probably a C plus. I think it's okay. It's not necessarily worth your money, but if you do buy it, you're not gonna be completely disappointed. So I'm going with C plus, let's throw that out there. We're gonna maybe do this for more mystery boxes coming up. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jans, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moosa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. What is going on with my contact? That was weird. Refocus. Eyeballs. We need to focus. Beep, beep, beep. Okay.